<laughs> Praise the Lord. That's a knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Levy Jr. Brother and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Mark chapter 4. We'll be looking at verse 13, and it reads, And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brothers, this is God's word. If you give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord Brothers and sisters In Mark chapter 4 Matthew chapter 13 And um, Luke chapter 8 It's recorded how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Gave a sermon uh, And in his sermon he gives this parable Where he says to the people that are listening, um, there was a, a, a farmer, he was planting seeds, a, a sower that was sowing seeds. And he had different um, soils that he was um, farming and, and, and planting the seeds or sowing the, uh, the, the, the seeds. And one, one, plant, one, one soil was, um, was on, the, on, on the wayside. And then a bunch of birds came and took the seeds away. And then the farmer then sold some seeds on, uh, on the wayside. And on the wayside, what happened was, was the, the seed took it, but it, it didn't have enough dirt. It didn't have enough earth. So what happened was when the sun came out, it, it, it scorched and, and, and the, that ground couldn't grow nothing. Then the, the, the farmer sold some seeds on, on, on some thorny grounds. And what, what happened was, was there was so much thorns that it, it couldn't grow nothing. And then uh, the, the farmer sold some seeds on, 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 on the, uh, another ground that, that was a little more fertile. And, and, and what happened was, was it, 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 it got a harvest, 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold, 100 fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. And so then Jesus then um, ended his, his sermon, let him that have ears, uh, let them that have ears, let them hear what doth save the Lord. And then he was done. And then his disciples, you know, they didn't really get the, the, the meaning of what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was saying. And so, they they came to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, and uh, and they said, "Our oh, Master, um, can you explain that parable to us? Uh, you know, uh, can you explain it to us?" And so our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then said, um, basically, he said, "The the kingdom of, of heavens, the the mysteries of God, is for you to know, but for them that don't want to know, it, it's going to be a parable." And then our Lord and Savior Jesus quite uh, quoted um, what a great man of God, uh, the prophet Isaiah, a, a, a preacher of the gospel of grace, where he, uh, quoting in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9, where he says, with these people that don't want to hear it, he says that seeing that they'll see, but not perceive, hearing they shall hear, but not understand, lest their hearts be converted, lest their hearts believe and then their sins would be forgiven. You see, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ referring to these people that, that you know, seeing that they'll see but not un, uh, uh, perceive, hearing that they'll hear but not understand. These people, they're, they're not willing to learn. They're, they're not willing to be taught. You, you could try to explain it to them and they don't want to hear nothing. Uh, uh, they think they know it all. They think they've got it all figured out. And you, they can't, you can't teach them nothing and they, want, they don't want to learn nothing because they think they got it all together. And, and so this is only told in parables. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ says to his disciples, the mysteries of God, the, the, the kingdom of God, it's for you to know. And so our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then breaks down what the, the parable that he shared, where he said that the sower he, or, or the farmer, he, he's like a preacher, uh, you know, preaching the word. 
and 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 and, and the, the seed it, it, it represents uh, the, the God's word. And 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 then when he talked about um the the one ground which which, which is the the condition of the heart, the the first ground the the, the wayside was 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 a, a ground that, that a heart that didn't want to hear nothing or or, or or didn't want to believe and so what happens was the the the, the bird the, which represents satan comes and takes away god's word and he does it immediately and so when you when you cl when your heart's closed off to the to the word of god satan's gonna come immediately and take the word away and so um our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ goes on to the next condition of the heart, which is the, 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 the stony heart that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ talks about. It then receives the word, and, and you know, for a moment, it, it, it's glad, it's, but then when, when, when tribulations and trials comes, which represents the sun, and, and, and what happens is the, the, the word gets scorched out, and it's not going to produce no fruit. Then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ goes to the next uh, 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 condition of the heart, which is the thorns, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, again, the word, which is the seed that he's speaking about, it gets there, but the, the thorns, then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then um, explains that the thorns represents the cares of the world. The thorns represents the deceitfulness of riches. The thorns represents the, 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 the lust of the flesh, the lust of the, of, of the world. And, and, and what happens with that, it, 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 it chokes the word. And so the ground can't, you know, produce no fruit. And then our, our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then goes on to say this. But then there's the good ground, the, the, the good ground that received the word. And, and, and when it's properly um, fertilized and properly given the right amount of, uh, of, of, of water and and, and sunshine and what happens is going to bear fruit it's going to bear fruit 30 fold uh 60 fold and 100 fold and that's what uh mark you know writes about in that level but then in matthew's account in matthew chapter 13 he says that it goes from uh a uh, 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 hundred fold 60 fold and then 30 fold but then uh, Dr. Luke's account of this in Luke chapter 8, he speaks about that the, the, uh, that this good ground, this good ground are they that with an honest and a good heart, when they hear the word and they keep it, and that hearing the word and keeping it is believing in the word of God. And, and, and watch this, they're going to bear fruit. They're going to produce fruit. They're going to bring forth fruit with patience. And so our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ referring to this parable where he says to, to, to the disciples, when you know this parable, you'll know all parables. And he gives that godly principle, knowing that, 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 uh, that the parable of the sower is when you understand, when you comprehend what, what Jesus Christ was conveying in this parable, you're going to understand the things of the kingdom of God. And remember, this is the year 2021. 2021 believer in Christ in spirit. Where the apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Christ lives in me, and the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me and gave his life for me. Therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. I do not frustrate the grace of God, because why? God has given us, when he's given us that parable, uh, 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 of the parable of the sower, and knowing that, 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 that and, and not frustrate the grace of God, and knowing that that, that uh, not be like that um the 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 the, the, the wayside have, don't have no wayside heart no because if Satan's gonna come down and take away the word of God don't have no um 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 stony heart no because you you, 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 you because the because the word of God it, 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 the, the attacks are gonna come because of the word of God say don't have no stony heart. 
Well, and, 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 and then don't have no uh, thorny heart. Well, 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 because that's going to frustrate the grace of God. Because why? Because you're going to be caught up with the cares of the world, the, 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 the deceitfulness of riches, and also the lust of the world. Don't get caught up in that. But, remember this, don't frustrate the grace of God. And how you don't frustrate the grace of God? Have a good heart, receive the word of God, keep it, and you will bear fruit with patience. And, that, and remember, this, and, and as it says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, because we're 20, 21 believers in Christ in spirit. For if Christ, if Christ, if right, if righteousness came by the law, and, and we're not going to have a, a stony heart, we're not going to have a wayside heart, we're not going to have a, a thorny heart, because if righteousness came by the law, then Christ died in vain. And we know that Christ didn't die in vain because we have a good heart uh, and we're going to receive God's word, going to take it and, and, and receive it and then uh, uh, produce 30, 60, 100, 160, 30 folds of, of, of all that God has called us to do. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his conscience to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance. To those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And I am that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory. Both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. <laughs> God bless you. God make love. Praise the Lord. <laughs>